after the initial upgrade to Windows 10 RTM using Windows Update, it's advised to make reinstallation media. And Windows 10 has this feature inbuilt and it's called a recovery drive. And from my testing, the recovery drive is edition locked, but not system locked and not Microsoft account locked. And it can be used for clean reinstallation, but not for clean initial installation. Otherwise, you get Microsoft product activation issues and have to buy a new product key. So the first thing to do is check that your system's activated. Right click the start button and select system. Windows should be activated if you came from Windows 10, Insider Preview, Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. Next, what you want to do is right click the start button and select disk management. And you want to insert a 4GB or superior USB flash drive. This is a 3.8GB NTFS formatted USB flash drive. It's a bit borderline, an 8GB one would be more recommended. However, it will work in this case and I will just use it. So it's NTFS formatted and I just formatted it that way just for a quick test to see if the inbuilt utility makes the reinstallation media correctly. So you want to right click the start button and select control panel and then you want to go to system and security and then you want to go to system maintenance and then you want to go to recovery and you want to left click create a recovery drive and the wizard to start making a recovery drive will start and it will tell you to please wait for maybe a minute or two. So it will list your USB flash drives that you have attached to your system. I've only got one available drive, so it's just listed that one. So I'm just going to select it and select next. And then I'll get a warning that it's going to be formatted. And then I'll select next. And it will take a while to copy the files to the recovery drive. This is an old computer with USB 2.0 ports. so a USB 3 flash drive and a USB 3 ports will be a lot faster naturally. But I've sped up the recording significantly and I'm just waiting for it to copy the files to the USB flash drive. It's saving the middle steps of having to download an ISO and then to download a utility like Rufus to make sure it's formatted correctly when you make the USB flash drive. It's saving the middle steps however. You don't need to download an ISO and you don't need to play around with third party utilities such as Rufus to ensure that your USB flash drive is formatted correctly. So the recovery drive is now ready and I can now check it out using disk management again. So if I just right click the start button and I select disk management, I can open up the recovery drive and I can check that it's correctly formatted as FAT32 and not NTFS, i.e. that it has the correct conditions to pass a UEFI bias with secure boot enabled. And we can also check out the recovery drive in Windows Explorer. So you can see the size of the files and the size of all the contents within the recovery drive. Naturally, keep the recovery drive safe in case you ever need to reinstall Windows 10. I would actually recommend creating maybe two or three recovery drives because it's very easy to lose a USB flash drive.